When you add a stock adjustment for a batch or serial tracked product, the system will prompt you to indicate which batch and serial numbers those products belong to. So if I adjust my Sweetheart's Candy, which is a batch tracked item, it will highlight those numbers in red in the batch column. You would then need to click on the plus sign and enter the batch number, expiry date and quantity, then click add batch for the two units that I am increasing my stock by. The red numbers should turn green and you can then proceed with the adjustment. Similarly, if I adjust my deluxe peanuts, which are serial tracked, the system will prompt me to indicate what those serial numbers are. So, I am adjusting my stock down, so I need to select which serial numbers those three units had. Once done, the numbers will highlight in green and I can then go ahead and complete the stock adjustment. When completing a stock count, and you enter count quantities for a batch or serial tracked item, such as my Sweetheart's Candy and my Deluxe Peanuts, the batch and serial columns will highlight in red. When you click on the plus sign for the batch, the system will display existing batch numbers and ask you to indicate which batch or batches those 150 units belong to. Similarly, with the serial numbers, the system will prompt you to select or enter serial numbers related to these products. Once you have entered the batch and serial numbers correctly, the numbers will turn green and you will be able to proceed with a count. Please note that even if you are uploading the count quantities via import for your stock count, you will still have to enter the batch and serial numbers directly on the screen. These cannot be uploaded. Thank you for watching.